Hi, I'm Phoebe from Propedia. Today, we're going to discuss a hot topic, freehold or leasehold. I think many Singaporeans, if given a choice, will always choose freehold over leasehold because they feel freehold's property will always hold better and appreciate. But is that true? Today, I'm going to analyse two resale developments in depth as comparisons. We're going to look at 18 Woodsville and 8 at Woodsville, as they are within one kilometre from each other on the same street along Upper Serangoon Road in District 13. 18 Woodsville is freehold, obtained TOP in 2015, has 110 units from one bedroom to three bedrooms and close to Potong Pasir MRT, while Ada Woodley is a 99-year leasehold, obtained TOP in 2012, has 330 units from one bedroom to four bedrooms and is in between Potong Pasir and Woodley MRT. From the chart, you can see that the overall price trend for 18 Woodsville has dropped quite significantly from launch, while Ada Woodley has been on the rising price uptrend. Both freehold and leasehold are now at nearly the same price. Now, why is this so? A few key factors play an important role. Firstly, let us dive into the entry prices on these two developments. Leasehold, Ada Woodley in mid-2012, when freehold, 18 Woodsville was launched, was about 1250 PSF, while freehold, 18 Woodsville was 1750 PSF. Buyers are paying a premium of 500 PSF on entry for a freehold versus a leasehold at the same time frame. That is a very steep price. If we took the initial price gap of 500 PSF times an average of 1,000 square feet for a three-bedroom, this difference is a staggering 500,000 which can easily wipe out any potential profits to be made, if any, for a freehold property. This is evident from the seven unprofitable transactions in 18 Woodsville and only one profitable transaction. The highest loss was 317,000, while the profit was only 59,000. Comparing to Aid at Woodley, Aid at Woodley has a staggering 214 profitable transactions and a large number of profits went over half a million, with the highest profit over one million. In the above analysis, we have determined that the entry price of a property is critical in determining if it is the right price to enter for this location. The second key factor is the land price and the number of units. Freehold 18 Woodsville has a land size of approximately 2,700 square meters with 110 units, while it at Woodley's land size is nearly four times bigger at 10,780 square meters with about 330 units. When you step into 18 Woodsville, you will immediately feel that the project is quite cramped as the developer is trying to squeeze the maximum number of units on a small piece of land. On the other hand, Ada Woodley has good full condo facilities including a 40-meter infinity pool, tennis courts, barbecue pits and outdoor cabana. It exudes a barley vacation feel when you step into the condo. Bigger land size also translates to a larger number of facilities within the condo, which drives up prices within Ada Woodley as there is greater demand. The third factor is the layout of units. We are going to use the two-bedroom layout for comparative. First, we will take a look at 18 Woodsville two-bed, two-bath layout at 818 square feet. From this layout, a few clear disadvantages can be seen. Firstly, the kitchen is to the left of the main entrance as is an open kitchen. Secondly, there is also a huge balcony versus the smaller internal living space, which is not very helpful for our own living. Thirdly, there are also two aircon ledges on each side of the bedroom, one with a connecting door for the servicing of compressors, which can be quite irritating. Next will be the Adat Woodley two-bed, two-bath layout, which is 840 square feet. You can see that this layout is much better than the 18 Woodsville from the main entrance of the unit as the kitchen is nicely tucked away behind, with the aircon ledge as well at the back of the kitchen and the common bath. The internal living and dining room space takes centre stage. There is also only a small planter versus a huge balcony at 18 Woodsville. Both bedrooms are also good size as it can fit a queen-size bed. 
layout plays a huge part in determining the demand for a development, and when there is higher demand, this drives up prices. Even though prices are now closing up and the gap between the freehold and the leasehold, I would say that the 99 leasehold Ada would lay in this instance would be a better buy as there is a bigger land size, full condo facilities, better layout and this will continue to drive demand and hold price versus the freehold 18 Woodsville. That's all I have for you today. If you are an 18 Woodsville or an Ada Woodley owner or you have a property in mind to buy but you're not sure if you're overpaying for it, please don't hesitate to give me a call at 8155-5933 for a complimentary no-obligation consultation to help you strategize your next step. If you have found this video helpful, please share with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Phoebe. Hope to see you soon!